Hi, my name is George Daniel. Today we're going to discuss using softer cider material for strike detection. Previously I wrote about it, but as the saying goes, sometimes seeing is believing. And what I want to do is I want to show you how the softer monofilm is going to help you detect strike detection. The idea is that trout don't always go in and hammer a fly or its prey. Often all it does is just goes over, swims, and inhales that fly. And as a result, very little tension is created between the fish and the fly. And this means that you're not going to often feel the strike, but more importantly, you need to see the strike. And I find that using softer monofilaments, watching it tighten and loosen back and forth, watching it stretch and watching for that strike need to occur in that cider material is going to give you a far better read on when a fish eats on a soft take. So I'm at my farm pond here and I'm going to have my kids demonstrate to you the advantages of using softer monofilaments when pursuing not just trout, but in this case, bluegill and crappie. So I hope you enjoy. Who are you? Logan. Logan, what do you look for when you're presenting flies to these panfish? Um, you have to watch your line, watch your leader, and if it like goes underwater and it jigs, then you set. Gotcha. All right, why don't you show us how it's done?